Congressman, you mentioned a few times now workers' rights, things like that. In this conversation, I know that you were a labor organizer. You also, before you got elected to Congress, you were an Austin City Council member. So let's just start from the beginning here. What drew you to politics? I started out as uh, an immigrants' rights organizer and as a labor organizer working in Texas, uh, the state where I, where I was born and raised. There are so many people uh, that contribute so much to making our economy run, but uh, the folks that we called essential workers uh, during this pandemic, but who were never given the essential protections uh, that they need. When I started out as a young organizer, the demand that we were making for on behalf of construction workers we're organizing alongside was just the right to a water break. And we asked and pushed some big companies to guarantee workers water breaks in the 110 degree Texas sun. And the first law that I ever got passed wasn't when I was an elected official, it was actually as an organizer bringing families together, asking city council to guarantee a 15 minute water break uh, during the day for construction workers. We finally got that law passed. But even today, nearly 14 years later, the Texas legislature is still considering passing bills to get rid of water breaks. As a city council member, after I was an organizer, ran for my lo for local office, became a city council member, passed things like eviction protections, um, passed policies to raise the minimum wage for people working on city projects up to $15 an hour and now up to $20 an hour minimum. Again, now today we're seeing the state legislature not working to help people, but to potentially go and undo things like a $15 an hour minimum wage, go and undo things like water breaks or eviction protections for renters. And that's part of what pushed me to run for the United States Congress. No matter how much people on the ground in their local neighborhoods, at their local city councils, try to make life better for everyday Texans, right now Texas is run by a set of officials that want to undo any progress in the state. And our history in this country shows that when people of conscience in the Congress act together for the common good, you can overcome what uh, a greedy or capricious or racist governor is up to. In the past, you had these horrible restrictions on voting against uh, black Texans and people of color. It didn't. It wasn't a Texas governor that solved that. It was members of the United States Congress pushing for the Civil Rights Act, passing the Voting Rights Act, and having a Texas president, Lyndon Baines Johnson, sign the Voting Rights Act into law, sign Medicaid into law, sign Head Start into law. I think we're in a similar moment where when our Texas officials like Governor Greg Abbott are spending their time targeting immigrants, targeting workers' rights, all at the benefit of the biggest corporations and his right-wing donors, I think the only way you break through that and make life better for people is for the Congress to go and codify abortion rights permanently into law, passing the Women's Health Protection Act, pass the John Lewis Voting Rights Act to restore voting rights fully in Texas, pass the Equality Act to fully protect our LGBTQ neighbors, pass the PRO Act to, again, protect union rights in Texas so that people can organize and so that the Texas economy that is continuing to grow actually benefits the majority of working Texans rather than just the top 1% of 1%. Congressman, once again, I do hear how passionate you are. I know that you are a vocal critic of your home state's governor, Texas Governor Greg Abbott. I did hear you say the term racist governor. Are you downright calling Governor Greg Abbott racist? Well, I, we talk all the time about how your actions speak louder than your words. And I've seen this governor time and time again prioritize, show me your papers laws uh, against immigrants uh, rather than prioritizing our schools. During the pandemic, when we should have been spending our time uh, saving lives, he was targeting trans kids, kids that are already having a tough time oftentimes, instead spending his time bullying those kids. And so I'll I leave it up to everyday Texans to determine um, the, the what their opinions are. I don't know what's in anybody's heart, but what I do know are his actions have specifically hurt working Texans, black, white, and brown.